Hey, what's up, guys? It's Extreme Game Guy here. I just started so badly. And today, as you can see, I hit Challenger 3. Oh my god. So, my mortar deck has been my tried and true 2.9 Archer Skeletons. Mortar deck has been working really, really well. Um, activity log. This was me getting hard countered in classic decks. But, look at all these wins. More classic decks, but like, oh my god. I lost yesterday. And then today's push started here against black. Right here. Win, draw, win, win, win. So, pretty much all wins except for one draw which the beauty of motorcycle is you get to um you get to um draw those hard matchups so i'm gonna go i'm gonna show you the replay against this guy simakurito 2 he's playing golem and as you know golem is a very hard matchup for my deck and we're going to start off the game with Mortar. And luckily he goes uh, Golem in the back. And I feel like right here I overcommitted defending this Mega Minion. I placed Archers and Skeletons. And the Archers had to walk up to shoot. But luckily we have those Archers for the Golem to damage it a little bit. He places his Baby Dragon. Um, luckily his Baby Dragon is 11. You really want to request all these commons. It's beauty of motorcycle as well is how free to play friendly it is. And right here, it looks like I'm screwed. And I knew I was going to take a lot of damage. But all I had to do was rock it, which was probably a mistake. I thought there was more on the field there. I could have just archered archers behind the baby dragon because my arch, uh, my um, princess tower ended up shooting all the bats. And right here, he gets a pump lead on us. So, I'm trying to punish here by going uh, Night Skeletons. He places his Lumberjack really late for some reason. He had full elixir and everything, and here I'm, I knew I'm screwed. He places Golem in the back. He's uh, like a pretty healthy elixir collector. And I have five elixir. What? How am I going to beat this guy? Like, how in the world... Am I going to defend his push? My knight did get a ton of damage. And um, that's probably his first mis mistake. Is going all putting all these troops in the back. Instead of right behind the golem. He should have just punished. Because he should have known. If he was a good player. He, he should have known. But people ask why I love the rocket. It's because of stuff like this. I didn't even need to use the tornado. I just rocketed it that all. Took out like 18 elixir worth of stuff. And I keep saying this, but beauty of motorcycle. Motorcycle is a very beautiful deck. People say it's an ugly deck to watch, but I love watching motorcycle. And right here, look at this. Oh, I missed the baby dragon, but... It doesn't really matter. We got Tornado. That's why I like Tornado better than Tesla. I used to use Tesla instead, but Tornado is more versatile, I feel like. And right here, he goes Golem a little bit too far back. I pull it back. I don't. I didn't need to. And um, my mortar locks on, and we take the tower with the rocket. That was a sick match. As you can see in golem matches you wanna really get value with that um with your rocket against their push. Um and try try and punish them efficiently. I didn't punish too hard there. I didn't have to. Now this game which is a long drawn out match, he didn't have a big spell. So I ended up winning because of that. Or drawing because of that. And we skip forward. Um, let me show you the game that got me to 4600. Right here. 
Now, you want to not look at your trophy count. You don't want to be like, oh, shoot, this is my last game to 4,600 or whatever trophy milestone you're going to hit. I need to focus, like, really hard is what I used to think. But you just want to think it's a normal battle and you're just playing another ladder match. So, this match was pretty intense. There was a lot of rocket clutches and a lot of plays that um, almost lost me the game. And right here, I, I was kind of scared, and then I realized the power of cycle cards cycling your deck. And right here is the 100% the reason why I like Tornado better than Tesla. Because for Mega Knight, it's just so good. For all this bridge spam stuff, it's just really, really good. You can pull bandits to King Towers, you can pull... Uh, battle rams away from your tower if it's at like a really low health and all you need is a couple more princess tower shots uh, that tornado is so useful um i suggest you uh really um utilize the tornado learn how to utilize the tornado uh whether it's just uses like that or advanced stuff Uses like pulling the balloon back or activating your king tower with a hog rider, goblin barrel, miner. Or having like advanced uses of pulling troops to the opposite lane, um, timings and all of that. It's such a versatile card and such a staple to motorcycle decks. Um, after this match, I'll go over leveling up guide. But here... Might have been a mistake. I rocket the Inferno Dragon. I really wanted to take the Inferno Dragon down. And luckily, he doesn't punish with a balloon. Here, another very, very good use case of the Tornado. Could a Tesla do that? Uh, no. I killed bats, and I damaged the, um, Electro Wizard, and pulled him back. So, that's why I say Tornado is definitely the better version so here tornado again coming in so much use and he he makes a good play here he realizes i don't have any uh counters except he did not know that rocket is a very good counter for the balloon and he ends up only getting death damage which death damage is actually quite a lot it's like 400 something or maybe 300 something damage uh, right there, another tornado use case that really helped out, letting my archers get more damage, letting my mortar get another hit. Right here, I let the Electro Wizard get two hits. Uh, I only wanted one, but uh, unfortunately, the rage it raged it up. Right here, I'm just I'm thinking Rocket Cycle, and luckily, uh, I was thinking before he dropped that Inferno Dragon, and. Luckily, he drops the Inferno Dragon and gives me rocket value. All I need to do, I know all I need to do is cycle back to another rocket, and I got this game in the bag. Right here, I use the rocket on defense, and look how close it gets. His Lumberjack gets, like, so many hits on my tower. Brings it down to 186, and he does not have a big spell. This is why big spells are important, because... For moments like this, where it comes down to the wire, and of course, I'm going to be on because, like, jeez, what a game. So that was the game that got me to 4,600, and now I'm going to go over the upgrade guide. So this is my upgrade guide, um, personally. Uh, I would get... For early, if you're just starting out playing motorcycle, get your rocket to 11 if it's not already. Get your mortar to 11, and then your first level 12 card is going to be mortar. Focus all your legendary trade tokens on your log. Uh, tornado, tornado is the only epic, so just request it on epic Sundays every Sunday and request uh, trade it. And after you get your mortar to 12, get your rocket to 12. 
uh, get your ice spear to 12, then your archers, no, get your ice spear, then your knight, your knight is very important, um, knight is more level dependent, or, it's not really level dependent, but it's more level dependent than archers, with a level 12 knight, you can one shot level 12 goblins, when archers, it really doesn't matter, it just gives it more health and more, it makes it better, but it's not, like, the end of the world if you have a level 11, level 11 archers. So, get all your commons to 11, or, I mean, skeletons, it doesn't really matter. You can get them to 11 if you want. And then, once you get all your stuff to 11, all your rares and commons, get your um, mortar to 12 first, rocket to 12 second, ice spear to 12 third, knight to 12 fourth, and archers to 12 fifth. And then do these on the side um, whenever you can with all your trade tokens and every epic Sunday. And then when you're going to 13, you're going to want to get your rocket to 13 first. And this might actually surprise you. But I'm going to say ice spirit after that. Get your ice spirit to 13. So when you face those level 13s, your ice spirit can get to the tower and get that sweet chip damage. And then get your mortar to tw uh, 13. Then get your knight to 13. Archers. And then once you get all of these maxed out, then level up your skeletons if you want to. And if, if skeletons aren't working, you can replace it with goblins. You can replace it with bats. I don't recommend bats because you don't really have any other zap bait. Um, this is my preferred version of mortar cycle. Feel free, if you see any other versions on other people's channels, um, to use those. So, I'm going to go over that one more time. Mortar to 11, rocket to 11. No, mortar to 12, rocket to 12. Ice spear to 12. Knight to 12. Archers to 12. Then, rocket to 13. Ice spear to 13. Mortar to 13. Then knight to 13, then archers to 13, and upgrade these on the side. Epic Sunday and trade tokens. I'm going to share one more replay, and that's going to be it for this video. And we're going to go, uh, we're going to share the replay of Hog Rider Elite Barbarians, everyone's favorite deck. Who doesn't love some Hog Rider Elite Barbarians? So. Here you're going to see some crazy um, pulling with the tornado and some crazy fails with the tornado, like right here. What a fail. I spend so much elixir defending that hog rider, and I overcommit with that mortar. And I don't have anything to defend his elite barbarians. So, I'm screwed up my arse right here. Luckily, that archer gets that lucky snipe on that um, minion. And right here I go skeletons, and I don't want to use a knight, so I just log. And unfortunately, he has princess and goblin gang. I do not know this. Um, and looking at his deck right now, how is he going to defend a balloon? God. <laughs> oh, he has minions. I forgot about that. But if they have arrows or something, never mind. <laughs> so here, here is a, right here, I'm going to pause. That mortar, I knew was going to get value because it kills the princess, and I knew he had Hog Rider in hand, and he was probably going to use it. So, it prevents him to use Hog Rider. He still does because it's level 13 and he can get away with it. And even with archers and mortar, it still gets a hit. God, I hate overleveled players. Whew, I'm having trouble breathing. Um, call life alert. I've breathed and I can't get up. <sighs> Alright, so he goes hog rider. I don't really have anything for it. Except for rocket. So I just rock it and I let that ice spear connect on my tower. So that is a ton of damage that I just t take right onto my tower. So as you can see, uh, 1294 versus 2470. I'm... I'm scared. Like, this dude is coming at we at me with, like, a 
a bat, and I'm running for my life calling Child Protection Services, uh, because this is my dad who's about to rape, I mean, so I'm really scared, I place a mortar here as a panic button, and it ends up killing that princess again, as we said, mortar value, and I realize he doesn't have a big spell. Well, his only spell is Zap. And what did we say about not having a big spell? You're going to be screwed. How are you going to finish off games? You're not. So if I just defend with all my life, and he can't break through, then, okay, waste the dog right there. And the hog gets a shot. Looking back at this, I am a dumb player sometimes. God. <sighs> You ever, like, watch yourself and you just, like, think about yourself in bed one day and, like, something you did, some stupid thing you did that, like, you regret a lot and you just think about it at 3 a.m. and how you embarrass yourself just because you wanted attention. Mm, everyone loves those moments. That's me watching this replay right now, how badly I'm screwing up. This is Zap, so I can, I, I, I really put my skeletons. And, uh, that tornado, tornado value. And right here, I'm like, ooh, I got the lead. He's thirsting for elixir. I know he's down on elixir a lot, and my mortar lock's on the tower. And that's gonna be game. We rock, we send in that rocket, and boom, they hit at the same time. And here comes the BM, because screw Hog Rider Elite Barbarians. Screw it like he did to me. Again, child protection services. Please, please save me. So I'm at my personal best with, right now with this motorcycle deck. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to put some more uh, commentary, I guess. More entertaining commentary. Some more exciting commentary. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below if, if you want to see some Boom Beach, because I'm loving Boom Beach. Uh, and maybe more BTD battles, I don't know. We'll see. Boom Beach, Heyday, uh, Balloons, Tower Defense 6, BTD ba battles. These are all games that I can play on the channel if you want to see them. Um, and of course, Clash Royale. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out, Girl Scouts.